Hello everyone, I am engineer Kamran Khan and you are watching my YouTube channel Learners of Civil Engineering. Uh, guys, today uh, I will discuss that how you can find the bearing capacity of soil from the values of SPT and values using Bowles equation. Guys, there is another correlation uh, which was given to us by Mayerhoff, but Mayerhoff correlation is much conservative as it gives us the values of the bearing capacity of soil 50 times more than the actual values. So Bowles did extensive research and he uh, finally gives us uh, this equation. And this equation is having two forms, one for footing width equal to four feet or less than four feet. So uh, in this case, you will use this equation, allowable bearing capacity QA is equal to SPT N value divided by 2.5 divided by K, K is a constant. And for footing width uh, uh, greater than four feet, you will use this equation, allowable bearing capacity, which is equal to N over four into B plus one divided by B whole square divided by K where k is equal to uh, 1 plus 0 0.33 into d by b equal to or less than 1.33. Now, what is the meaning of this equal to or one, uh, less than 1.33? Let's suppose by considering some depth of the foundation d and width of the foundation b, the value is, let's suppose, less than or equal to 1.33. So, uh, it will be considered as OK. But uh, what will be the case when the value of the bearing, when the value of k by using this equation by considering some depth and uh, width of the foundation b will be greater than 1.33? Then in that case we will consider what we will consider not the actual value but uh, we will consider the value of k is equal to 1.33. Now let us solve an actual case. Uh, this uh, side is designed for footing width equal to or less than uh, 4 feet and this side is designed for footing width equal to or greater than uh, 4 feet. Uh, now, uh, let us consider uh, this side in which uh, the footing width will be equal to or less than 4 feet. So, let us consider that the footing width in feet is 3 feet and the uh, um, footing depth, uh, depth of the foundation in feet is equal to 3 feet and the value of the SPT N value is Let's suppose uh, I'm considering over here is the n. So n, o, n by uh, 2.5 will be equal to how much? It will be equal to 4. Now, the value of k is calculated over here by using this uh, particular equation, which is given uh, over here. Now, the value of k is what? 1.33. So this is OK. Now, over here, in this particular uh, case, I have fit the same formula which is given to us uh, uh, here, which is equal to n by 2.5 divided by k. So the value of the bearing capacity um, of soil in this case is 3.01 in kips per square feet. In tons per square feet, I will divide the above uh, result by 2.204 and this will convert uh, the value of the bearing capacity from kips per square foot to ton per square foot. Now let us consider some factor of safety is equal to 3 over here. So uh, when uh, 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 we will consider as a factor of safety of equal to 3 then this will further reduce the bearing capacity of soil from 1.36 ton per square foot to 0 0.45. Let's suppose if I will consider a factor of safety equal to 2, then the value of the bearing capacity will be equal to 0 0.68. Now, guys, uh, consider another case in which the footing width will be greater than 4 feet. So, over here, I am considering the uh, width of the footing is equal to 5 feet and uh, the depth of footing I am considering is equal to 5 feet as well. And the value of uh, uh, the SPT N value is, let's suppose, 20. Uh, so N by 4 will be equal to 5. And the value of K is calculated from this equation, which is uh, already filled in the Excel sheet. Uh, so it is, again, equal to 1.33. Then the Q allowable um, by considering this equation, N by 4 into B plus uh, 1 divided by B whole square divided by K is equal to how much? 5.41 per foot. I will divide this result by 2.204 and this will be converted into tons per square foot. Now let us consider the factor of safety against the shear failure of soil is equal to 3 and uh, the final bearing capacity in ton per square foot will be equal to how much? 0 
A2. So uh, guys, I hope this video was very useful for you. Uh, and uh, this Excel sheet uh, is also available on my Google Drive. The link is given in the description. Uh, kindly like and share this video. Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further updates. Thank you.